In this demonstration, we're going to simply create our first Oracle backup with the Networker wizard. And what we're going to do here is first type in the Oracle client name. This is going to be a traditional Networker client, but when we click Next, we'll note that Oracle is installed on the system. So if I choose Oracle, now we're going to start through Oracle configuration, where I first can choose that I want it to go to the data domain system. I then can use it typical or a custom schedule. In this case, I'll choose typical. And now I'm going to put in my database credentials so I have the ability to browse and modify uh, to set up and select protection. Note here we're seeing the browse policy, retention policy, and schedule. And I'm going ahead and I'm adding a client name comment here just so I can find this later on if I need to. We're going to give remote access to any storage nodes so if they want to do recovery. I'm then going to create a new group. This is my first RMAN client, so I'm going to go ahead and type in RMAN. I'm then going to go ahead and I'm going to run it back up straight to the backup server. So I'll do it from the client and just send the metadata over. And here you can see a quick overview of the script that's going to be run during backup. So when I finish this, I could go ahead and start running my backups, but let's go ahead and look at some more options. So if I go in and I go to modify this client, when I open up that modification, I have the capabilities now to, if I go past this first slide, I could change where I'm dedupling to. I could also go ahead in this set and actually go ahead and not back up the whole database, just select TS2 and users. When I go next, I can then change the number of channels. In this case, I'll move it up to four. And I can also go ahead and add a backup tag if I want to. Tag one and file per set, I'll set to one. This will help me increase performance. I can also go ahead here and figure out anything else. And in this case, I'm going to give NSR direct access to the information that's being protected. Now you'll note in the top is the RMAN script that's going to be run, which I could give to my DBA. And on the bottom, it's actually letting me know how the script has been modified since I first did it. Then it'll go through and I can run, again, pre and post scripts. I can run a different RMAN script from a location, gives me a quick summary of what's happened again, because I'm not changing anything else that I did in the first step, and gives me a final summary. And then I say to modify that I want to actually go with the changes and I finish it. Now I can go ahead and run my backup for my Oracle script.